Spore Colony inside the main right now. So these raids are going to be forced back. A lot of raids though for Haya and uh, picking up a Scourge there as well. So he's done a pretty decent job overall of doing some damage. He still hasn't scattered at 6 o'clock. And if, he, if he'd done so, he would be in there with those raids, killing off all those Jones because they're extremely vulnerable. Show more Rex being added in. One Scourge. Oh, I don't know how that missed. Scourge is flying right by those wraiths just be just after they took out their brethren but yeah still no spotting on the six o'clock really those wraiths would be in there picking up all these drones if you knew about that but yeah you can spot that and he has no idea that Yarnak has that third base flying in with his wraiths towards that position now i'm not quite sure if he scanned it or not but he has to be feeling suspicious at this point that there's something going on as soon as he spot that base he should feel safe enough. he's gonna do a lot of damage here to these drones and he should feel safe enough do some spore creep colony coming in but that's coming in very late nice Nice burrow here, but a scan coming in from Haya, so he's still gonna pick off all these drones. Never mind the burrow, creep colony coming in, but not morphing into a spore because all the drones died anyway. Mule now gonna become a mutilous counter attack coming in straight for Haya's main. He has several torts out there, but they're gonna be forced back. Only a couple Marines there, not quite. They probably don't even have stim yet. Gonna be trying, yeah, kill the minute. They try to fight back. There's still some turrets in there, but the wraiths are going to be forced to come back and try to fight these Minos off. Minos, meanwhile, going to get some decent damage done, picking off most of the ground army. Overwards coming in as well. I'm wondering if this is going to be for a drop or not. If the wraith spot that might actually go for the overwards, overward speed is ready. The wraiths are going to go straight for those. Never mind the Minosks. He knows that he's going to be able to accomplish a lot of damage here, cloaking up. So never mind the overwards. He was, uh, no way he was going for a drop, just acting as, as uh, you know, you want to have a lot of overwards cloaked, gr grouped together to act as spotters against those wraiths act as detectors because having only one of them means that rates can just focus fire that down and then rip your middle to shred but it's still pretty decent size size number of wraiths academy still blinking so i think i think stim's not quite ready yet might be for range now but i think he went for stim first and he doesn't really have that much of a ground army still sitting only on one base so i feel high is in a lot of trouble yarnak has been allowed to th sit on three bases for a while although he did take a lot of economic damage the six o'clock position was completely Completely ransacked, all the drones killed, and uh, poor workers dying. And he doesn't even have a fully saturated natural expo either, actually, now that I think about it. He's been focusing very heavily on the middle Uh Hope for his sake that he's uh, sort of resaturated at 6 o'clock, uh, at least a little bit, partially picked up the third gas yet again. High is still sitting with, what, three Raxes right now, floating one off, picking a, getting a, it's, well, a little bit of a medic marine force, picking up a Scourge that scouts it. So Yarnak at the very least in the know at all times, uh, going out there with a the Scourge to sacrifice it to at least get a scout. Finally, now turret's coming in at that far left, upper left-hand position, uh, hit by the eggs. Mutos is still, of course, going to be able to go there and harass it. There are a couple of turrets coming up before the command center is going to be built, so Mutos is going to fly towards the location, going to spot those turrets. Can engage the turrets and nothing else. We're going to see whether the Wraiths actually come in here and try to engage these Mutalisks or not. Mutalisks got a very, 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 very heavy number. Uh, High is actually going to move out with his Medic Marines. Wondering what he's uh, thinking to accomplish with this. Has his Wraiths alongside. So if he micros his Wraiths and his Medic Marine troop both at the same time, he might manage to accomplish a decent amount. Might actually do a lot of damage to Mutalisks. Although he doesn't have weapons one on his Marines yet. I'm not even sure if he has range yet. Uh, he definitely has to at this point of range. I'm not 100% sure. At the very least, he's forcing Yarnat to put out a couple extra sun guns into Natural Expo because of those medic marines moving out. And right now, it's just going to be basically who controls the air. Yarnak has his Overlord alongside some Scourge and uh, medic marine and uh, yeah, Mutalisk Scourge and Overlords to fly around while the Wraith on the opposite side for Haya alongside his Merc Marines on the ground. So the very least he can do a sort of a two dual pronged attack, but I still think his rates are a very critical factor. Mutal's gonna come in inside. Haya was starting to put up his natural expo there at the upper left hand. Overlord's gonna be caught a little bit out in the open, so there a few of them gonna get sniped before the race fly away, forcing the Mutalist back. Haya you know, gonna push down, which has weapons one at this point, probably has range as well, so he's thinking to, to try to push those sunken. It's not gonna manage to do too much there, but meanwhile the Mutalists are gonna pick off this command center. Uh, interesting enough, there was a turret there very close to the ground, so uh, high is being prepared. <laughs> Yarnak actually has enough mutalists to s uh, split the numbers. He's meanwhile uh, prevented that a natural expansion from coming up, so high knows he's very much in not, not a very good economical position, but one base for way too long. Goes in with these medic marines to pick off these sunken colonies. Wraiths come in to support as well. Wraiths are not going to be able to do too effective until it's those spore colonies go, and medic marines are going to focus down those spore colonies, so now the natural expansion is extremely vulnerable. Hatchery gonna go down, all the drones being pull pulled off, Mutal is coming in though, they might actually manage to pick, yeah, they're gonna manage to pick off all this ground troop, way too many troops on the ground, with Carapace won't upgrade, no less, Ray's gonna be forced back in Yarn, and uh, Haya just not, does not have the, uh, the economy, the econ right now to fight back at this point. Uh, ha still has those wraiths, but not in a large enough, uh, not in a large enough number. Way too many mules in the air. When the mules are such a large number, you can fight toe to toe. Science facility coming out now. 
for Haya, and he just does not have the eco economy to support this. Still building some medic marine, still has a little bit a small medical marine troop, but despite the fact that Yarnak was forced to not mine from his natural for a little bit, not very good position to be in whatsoever. So raids are gonna be oh fighting back. We're gonna see. Oh man, these oh man, these mutalists just being being absolutely critical for him. I think they actually went in and sniped the science facility earlier because there is a science vessel out there, but a fi science facility was being rebuilt. So pretty sure that he actually had sniped the science facility. He still doesn't have radiate on that on that uh, science vessel. So science vessel just hiding on top of the command center. Mutal uh, Carp is still in this mutalisks now, so they can take a hefty amount of damage and can just stand right on top of those marines and dish out without without dying so they don't you know weapons one upgrade don't really need at this point you really want to just be able to take the damage from mech marines and just sit on top of them it's such a large number when you have such a large number it's kind of imp more important that they all survive and if because if they do they're just going to be able to do the constant amount of damage yarnak at this point i feel he's going to expand yet again to a three o'clock position but at this point i feel you actually might go for the killing blow as i suppose he's avoiding it because he's he doesn't want to get his entire middle group caught between mech marines and wraiths and possibly you know, basically open, him, open himself up to allowing Haya to pick up another base, but I still think he's going to be able to pick up a 3 o'clock base with no troubles whatsoever. Haya's not going to have anything to go out and harass any of his bases. The only real place he can attack at the moment is actually either the 6 or the Natural Expo, and if he tries to go for an attack, he's just going to expose his own base significantly, and those moves are going to be able to fly and do a huge amount of damage. So the ball is definitely... <clears throat> What's that saying again? Ball is in your court. Ball is in your something. But yeah, definitely... Yarnak with a huge advantage at this point. Haya still doesn't have a natural expo mining, and his veins almost mined out. He was putting down a command source. He might float that off, but even with that extra base, he's been on one base against the three base rook for too long. He did that, did do that initial damage, but he stayed on one base for far, far, far too long. Command source is still not up for him yet. He's still going to have to float out. He's going to move out with a fairly sizable medical marine troop, which I'm actually questioning how he managed to get up with that little, with a small economy he had. Actually, moving into the race now, going to try to. Take the creep colonies before they turn into sunken before they actually even come up. Yeah, gonna start up by picking up one creep colony. There's a science facility out there. It's gonna start up again. One irradiator on the mutalisk, and that's gonna get split off, split off in time because Yarnak didn't really have his mutalisk all grouped up in one heavy ball. But he has probably over two control groups at this point. Also has lurkers out in the field. That's gonna force scans. Gonna force the time cells to be very important. But I really don't think he wants to engage because lurkers all over the place. Actually putting down a contain on high's natural expo. He has those marines out there, so. At the, at the very least, it's thanks to scan science facility. Oh, science facility keeping that alive from those scourge, but at the very least, he's gonna be able to spot. Uh, gets another radiate off on the mutilist, so that's pretty good. Oh, doing a decent amount of damage with that radiate. This time, it's putting off a little bit too late, but the race coming in actually could a 30 radiate. Oh, that's actually mutilist gonna fly in right on top of those minis. Lurkers that were putting on contain actually gonna move southward towards the National Expo. They're gonna try to do a.